Oh, sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Hey there, it's MC here, and as you can tell, I'm in here with a uh, special guest, or really our leader. Yep. Hey, guys, it's Lula, and this is something new we're doing. Uh, hopefully, Microsoft, you don't bash on us for showing off your stuff. Please don't, but... Uh, basically, uh, we thought of doing this, since other people were doing it, uh, we start to, uh, go over anything update-related for Sea Thieves. Uh, now, I know you guys love, love, love our normal stuff for Summer's Call and all that, but let's try to get more technical, and this is just going to be the start of it. So, uh, right now, uh, we are going to be viewing the, this week's update which um, currently right now, it's, it's February 20th, 2019. If you were, uh, I don't know, watching this at a different time zone or whatever. But, uh, yeah, uh, let's jump into it. All right, let's go. Hello, everyone. Joni, executive producer on Sea of Thieves here with another weekly dev update. Firstly, a bit of an update on Friends Play Free. So, obviously, we've seen some feedback and questions around the incentive that we put out for new players that kind of came in and played via Friends Play Free. Uh, and just confirmation that we will be bringing this to the game in the next month or so, uh, the Mercenary Cosmetic set, so that everybody will have the opportunity to earn that. So, I wanted to also talk a little bit about oh, the combat changes that perfect. we made a little while ago. So, continuing to kind of observe and see how these bed in, because any changes that you make to mechanics... All right, let, combat, like, really let's pause right start. there for a second. Kind of let's pause right there. They're, they're bringing it into the game for everybody to play, this mercenary set. Awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I didn't get even get to play the mercenary quest to begin with, which I was pretty pissed off that it was... Five doubloons a piece. Yeah, they only had two, and they were Im nearly impossible. I mean, yeah, I'm doing the stuff for the force and whatever, but for me, my schedule, it's nearly impossible for me. I don't know about you. Uh, yeah. Just so you guys know, um, for those who are wondering why Laura hasn't been around lately, she's actually been busy with a whole bunch of stuff in real life. So I wanna, we both want to apologize real quick on her part for not being active, but blame real life. Yeah, life is not nice <laughs> when it, whenever you're an adult. <laughs> True that. All right, let's continue. All right, yeah new tactics start to play out and what things are adding and what aren't. So the first thing that we're looking at is just sword play and just looking at making it so that if you miss a swing, if you miss connecting with someone, that there's a slight punishment there because at the moment, uh, they're, they're, obviously now we've removed any slowdown from kind of miss swings and things, uh, it doesn't quite feel balanced correctly and the sword can really be a little bit overpowered. So we're just going to make one tweak there and then we're going to see how that plays with everything else and and at this stage, we really are getting into that kind of position of, of just making one tweak, like seeing how it plays out, make another tweak, make another tweak to, to different parts of the whole combat. Now, let's stop there for a second. Really stop there for like a second. Gonna be making holes. Like, last week they mentioned, oh, hey, we're going to sit back how things go now that we rebalance the combat system. Now they're really, again, um, this is something excellent they do. They actually... Pay attention to the fan base for change, not like mm -mm, Sonic or whatever other fan base. Uh, hey, hey, hey! Watch the bashing. <laughs> mm. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Glad they listen. Unlike certain other companies, <coughs> like EA, for example, <coughs> Activision, <coughs> King. <coughs> Yeah, so it seems like they're going to rebalance it again. Uh, which, by the way, uh, if you, if anyone wants to stay on top of the game, like I do, and you, I know you do, MC, uh, they've released uh, another stability update this morning. Uh, uh, please do go check that out. It's very small. It only takes, like, five minutes. Yeah, at most, uh, definitely. All right. 
some of you may have seen the hashtag SOT and me, which is something that our community team started this week, which is really just some members of our team talking about what Sea of Thieves means to them. It's really cool, again, to see all of our community taking part in this, and it's great to see what Sea of Thieves means to you. You know, we're, we're kind of over 10 months in, we're getting towards our year one anniversary, and it's amazing just to see the stories, the memories, and, and just what makes it special, and, and really to see the variety of this, because to everyone, like, Sea of Thieves is unique, and it's really cool to read or to watch um, what, what's so special about it to you. Bit of an update on Pioneers, and last week there was lots of activities. So, first of all, we released our first initial version of Arena to Pioneers, and got some really good feedback uh, over the weekend. Ooh, and MC! We also- Wink, wink. Wink, uh, wink, in. in. Huh? Huh? What? 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 Oh! Oh! That! <clears throat> okay, then. Then I guess I better be checking something afterwards. <laughs> yeah. So have started testing some of the new quest stuff that we've been working on. So really great to get these early versions out and get them into people's hands and start getting feedback and, and so we can really kind of get into that iteration phase of them. So super cool, thanks to everyone that's taken part in that. So with that in mind, our next update, which comes in early March, uh, which is mainly focused around bug fixing, quality of life improvements, balancing, etc., will also uh, kind of bring the functionality that enables us to make Pioneers opt-in. So we'll have more to share on that soon, uh, but that is a stage that's coming up for us pretty soon, and we're really excited uh, about it so that we can get more people. Ooh, opt-in, optional opt-in, opt-in, opt-out, that's nice. Nice, 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 nice. They need more pioneers. Yeah. They do, really do. Yeah. They really like, do. Yeah, I like... Mean, to be honest with you, I don't think the pioneers are playing for the sake of the bugs, some of them. Some of them are just playing like, oh, I want to get into the game early, see what's going on. Yeah. But of course, like with most beta programs, especially with this one, it's hush, hush. Yeah. So. Yeah. So no one, what nobody knows who to. Hmm. So hopefully, that, hopefully in this case, case uh that comes soon. So, uh, because uh, we have seen it in the past, even before the resides, some bugs did leak through still through the pioneer filtering. So. Yeah. Uh, but yes, um, for those who don't know, um, I am, I am a pioneer myself. Not like I can say anything. <laughs> uh, uh, but, um, honestly, I'm glad to hear that they're opting in and opting out because Laura here has been wanting to be a pioneer for who knows how long. <laughs> yeah, um, being, um, how I am in the tech industry... Um, I think it'll be a major, major contribution uh, yeah, to just, uh, you know, get in there and help actually help out for a change. Oh. And um, I'm kind of kicking myself for not doing it, but I've been kind of wanting to get into the video game industry in general, yet here I am uh, elsewhere. Like, yeah, it's high pay, but I'm still kicking myself for it. Can't, bl- can't fault you. <laughs> so is even at times. No offense. Uh, anyways, uh, anyways uh, let's finish this update off. Yep. How can they start giving feedback on upcoming features? So, yeah, more to show on that soon, but our update in early March will enable this for us. That update in early March will also bring in a new round of mercenary voyages for players to get their hands on. So, again, trying to drive some interesting player behaviour out there on the seas. And that's it. I'll see you on the seas. Cheers. So, last week, John said during this section that nobody actually watches it, but we actually got quite a lot of feedback from people that they do kind of take the time to watch through to the end. So, with that in mind, we decided to bring the actual talent back. So, remember, like, subscribe, or click the notifications bell. Cheers. Alright, so, we're at the end of the update, but there has been some additional news. Um, Apparently... Like, yes, there are these official updates, but uh, for those of you that, are, that now don't watch the developer streams, I don't know why we aren't either, but 
apparently they give out more updates than they do in the official videos here. Hmm. There's what? a lot of CFTs in there. Plus, yeah. there's giveaways and all that. Well, um, okay, so let's rewind to the previous updates, for example. Like, um, like yes, there was the size reduction of the entire game, but um, I think uh, this goes commonly for everybody. Um, on every ship, uh, somewhere, uh, either second deck or the bottom of the boat, depending on what boat you're on, uh, there was a cooking set with the stove and all that. Plus, at the front of the boat, uh, you have the two cutouts uh, with a small invisible edge on them. Uh, to be honest with you, I kind of hate the redesign of the ships like that, but hey, that hey, that's rare decision, not ours. Um, yeah. Uh, in another video from one of her sources, um, I've actually um, heard her say that she heard uh, Shelly or whoever it was, uh, that she was cooking up something. And then uh, as a reply, uh, uh, Shelly said, oh, uh, fishing, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to get cooking and fishing, guys. It's a guarantee we're getting cooking and fishing. All right. Um, also, uh, there's been more and more talk about pets. We're probably gonna get that in the mega update if uh, if that's what all this entails. Uh, the cooking, fishing, and whatever we wanted, uh, you know, within the early times of the game that got skipped over, it's probably gonna be found within this mega update or sometime after. Yeah, and since and since I doubt we would drop two mega updates, my guess is this mega update will include everything that we want, including right, the right. And then afterwards, um, after these updates, you know, arena and the mega update, um, my source also said um, there's gonna be another small update just to add a little more, and that they couldn't fit into the mega update after the fact. They'll just add the icing on the cake here. Yeah, so basically these next, uh, probably they're going to bounce it out, so I assume uh, one week after the Mega Update, we're going to get Elena, and then like uh, two weeks after that, they're going to add the last little bit uh, that they couldn't add during the Mega Update, so it's going to be like a couple weeks in between, but expect a lot more for CFEs late March. Yes, and we can already see CFEs is on quite a nice path already. Um... Like, uh, there's now actually more players uh, joining than quitting, because normally what is, after you hit Athena 10, that a player would uh, quit the game, throw it away into the trash can. Okay, I'm done. Beat the, beat the game. But no, now it is, um, even if you're Athena 10, uh, people are falling more and more what Joe intended was um, a near PLs like I am, or PLs in general, to, uh, which again, that's slang for Pirate Legend, by the way, for the, they're actually helping the next generation, which I know, uh, you're at standstill, MC, but you're kind of part of that little generation that's coming in right now, even though it's an early generation, you, um, kind of zoom out, it's, it's still part of this huge uh, mega generation uh, that us near PLs and PLs in general, again, are going to pitch in with the newbies and help them out. I honestly think you aren't wrong on that. Yeah. And um, Joe, one time, or someone at Rare, I don't know who, uh, they did quote that they do want to get into esports. Or one of, the, one of my sources said that, or whatever. Because, um, and see, I do recall the one day we were sailing um, in a private session uh, that I, where I said, hey, what if CFs can turn into some kind of esport? And you said, well, uh, there's no backing. And now here we are. There is backing. There is almost sustainable backing 
to back this game up. It can easily overrun Fortnite. Let's not let's not cook cook a chicken while they're hatched. Hatched. If anything, you can compete with Fortnite at the most. But uh, I do think that it's a bad. Backing, I, it's not that I didn't believe you on that. It's just again, Microsoft gets a hard time in general that I'm not sure people are willing to give it the light of day. Day, and they need need not just new players, but they also need people to actually view the game, game, and not be like, "Oh, it's the second Microsoft exclusive." Oh no, people aren't viewing it as that anymore. They're viewing it as just a game from Rare, nothing else. Well, let's hope, hope that's the case with everybody, everybody, because still seeing some people who are unconvinced. <laughs> but at least they're getting there. Well, hopefully, hopefully, if they do decide to become an eSport, we get, get information on that soon, too, because I would totally watch it. Depending on how tough, depending on what it is, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... If you go to fleet servers nowadays and just score or whatever, there are esports now. You just gotta find where, where and uh, you know, where and who is hosting them. True that. True that. All right. Um, that is all for now, guys. Thank you again for tuning into this uh, developer reaction. Um, we're gonna try to make this a weekly thing thing for you guys because we figured we might as well. Plus, on top of that, it will help us give you at least you see a fees fans some more information until our next, like I said, big direct like where we're gonna be talking more about um some see a fees stuff uh, for both Sirens Call and well other stuff. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, click on this card right here. It will give you, uh, get you, uh, take you to where well, I talked about everything that's going to be happening for the MC Direct in March. Once we get more information about what this mega update entails, of course. Right, and uh, again, as you said, uh, this is does kind of concern Star Call a little bit since it's a little uh, behind the scenes, CFCs in general. Uh, plus, uh, every other channel is doing this, so. We thought, hey, why don't we uh, kind of in start informing our viewers as well? Can't hurt. Yeah. So uh, if we had met, if we get bashed in any way, uh, just for showing film off, uh, which by the way, you did include a screen share for YouTube view. Yeah, I did. Okay, but yeah, if we get bashed for that, then uh, I guess we can go just. Uh, no video, we can just turn into, we can just listen to it and uh, not show the video. <laughs> yeah, like we could just basically discuss it, which is not, not, which I have nothing against. I could easily make a thumbnail for that, that. but uh, I'm going to be test uploading this to YouTube, but, uh, my backup channel that I have first to make sure we don't get copyright striked or anything. And if we don't, then I'll upload it to the main channel so you guys can see it all. Um, just so you guys know, this is being recorded on the day of. Um, Laura put us all on hold because there is a storm currently in our area. It's past me, but she uh, announced on Twitter that the Go game is all on pause. So this is the d upload the day after the actual developer update came out. So just a heads up. Right. Um, and of course, um, if we can't do it directly on the day that in a developer anything comes out, uh, which again, we should start watching those streams, at least one of us. Yeah, definitely. Uh, th again, CFTs. Yeah, CFTs. Yeah, and giveaways. They've actually given away uh, Epstein sets right over our noses. Yeah, true there, true there. Which sucks because uh, we all know uh, Ethan Smith would like that mm -hmm. if he had it. True there, true there. All right, well, um, I guess that's all for now, guys. Uh, me and Lola will see you guys later. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this past.